so how do you stop being a mommy's boy how do you stop first of all you have to understand that you are doing something wrong you are breaking a rule you are breaking a biblical principle you are breaking a marital principle okay and because you are breaking it if you don't fix it as soon as possible it will damage you it will damage your wife it will damage your children it will damage your future so you need to fix it as soon as possible number two you have to understand that your mother is your mother she's not your wife so if you are the type who keeps saying my mother is my first wife my mother is my wife you, you, you don't know what you're talking about your mother is your mother okay her work or her role was to give birth to you she's a steward who is to raise you up as a godly seed so you belong to god but god has to pass you through a family so you have to pass through the family you pass through you have to have the father you had you have to have the mother you had so that god can use that platform to bring you into this world okay and your reward the way you respond by rewarding your parent or your mother is not to marry her or not to call her as your first wife your role or your responsibility is to honor her if you keep saying your your mother is your first wife it means you are spiritually married to her you are spiritually married to her no wonder you see her to be the most important person and you are literally doing everything you should have been doing with your wife you are doing it with your mother so there is a spiritual something spiritual that is not correct that needs to be broken yeah and if you see your mother as your your wife then your physical marriage will not work because you are spiritually married to somebody else so your physical marriage is not gonna work and if you are single it can be very difficult for you to get married mommy's boys who are here to marry one of the reasons why it's taking you so long to get married is because of this mommy's boys thing you keep calling your mother my first wife so you will not get married and the other reason why it will be difficult for you to get married is that your mother has so much control over you so you don't have a mind of your own she has to be the one choosing for you so every girl that you bring she would have a problem with that girl because sometimes they don't want you to get married that is the truth sometimes when they have so much control over you and they feel like they are benefiting so much from you they are using you to to quench the pain that they had they you are the one that they confined in they didn't call you you are running to attend to them they are enjoying it okay they are enjoying it so they don't want any other woman to come and take that space they don't want to relinquish that thing to any other person so sometimes they don't want you to get married so anybody that will take that attention from them or anything that will take the attention from them they will fight that thing and sometimes even when you get married they don't want you to have kids that is another spiritual side to it they don't want you to have kids because once you have kids attention is going to be divided it means that you're going to pay more attention to your wife to your children then now your mother no longer have the attention and they don't want to lose that attention so if unfortunately if your mother is not a godly person if she's diabolical and i'm not talking about uh, being a witch because sometimes we think when we hear diabolical we think the person is a witch there are some people they are not witches but because they're so bitter because they are so angry they are bitter they are envious they are selfish it's it it becomes spiritual it becomes a, a stronghold yeah and some people can go they can visit fetish priests they go to the they get fetish help they visit the shrine get juju so that they can blind you and get your attention from your wife and your kids so it takes it goes deeper it becomes more spiritual than physical and these things are happening in homes okay so you may think oh i'm trying to poison your mind i'm not poisoning your mind at all it's happening these things are happening so if your mother is not a spiritual person she can go all length to get attention so you need to wise up um and know that if you are single it can mean that your marriage can be delayed if they finally allow you to get married 
they will choose the wife for you and guess what they will choose they will choose a woman who they can easily manipulate and control so they are looking for a very soft woman that's when you hear them saying i mean i just want a humble woman i want a humble girl for you i want somebody who respects it it's not true they just want somebody when they say sleep here she sleeps when they say take off that necklace it's too big they'll take it off wipe off that makeup they'll wipe it off they'll tell you uh, next time i don't want to see you uh, 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 you know wearing high heels and the woman will say yes ma yes ma uh -huh. that is the kind of girl because they have successfully manipulated you controlled you so they want a woman that they can that can make it easy for them to be able to control both of you when you are married so in that way they don't lose the attention they still have your attention this is deep holy spirit help me because there are some people who will see this video and they'll be so angry because i'm exposing some truth but it is what it is okay we must say the truth to help those who are coming up anyone that is seeking to control to have so much control over another person it's not coming from a good spirit because it's lucifer it's um it's the devil who likes to control and manipulate people so where you see the spirit of control and manipulation it's there is something that is not right okay spiritually and that's why both of you as a couple or if you are a wife you having this experience you've got to really really pray and if you are a single guy who is planning to get married make sure you find somebody who is praying okay if you realize that your mother has this kind of control over you find a god-fearing woman and guess what if quote 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 if she is diabolical she might not accept you to marry a god-fearing woman because she wouldn't want you to marry somebody who is spiritually strong who can pray and destroy her things so you see that she will be pushing you to the weaklings the one that is so weak you say sleep here then you know the one that will easily bow to what they say the one that will not challenge them immediately you bring somebody who challenges them a little bit try to challenge their mindset a little bit they are like she's not respectful she's too proud you know she she thinks she knows everything yeah so watch out be very very uh, mindful of that now the other way you can stop being a mommy's boy is to understand that your mom is your father's wife your father was meant to love her to show her so much affection love her take good care of her make her feel like the princess the queen that she truly is but unfortunately this didn't happen the fact that your father failed in his role as a husband doesn't mean that you should assume that rule. You cannot feel that shoes. You cannot wear those shoes. It's too big for you. Okay. Your mother's emotional needs are beyond you. You are not the one to meet it. You can't meet it. The best thing you can do is to be a good son. Yeah. Is to be a good son. Being a good son means that you have to honor her. Okay. So one of the ways you can honor your parents or mother, appreciate her, you know, acknowledge the fact that, yes, she went through certain things because of you guys, is to check up on her. You can call her um, if you don't live too far away from, from her. Once in a while, you can go and visit, okay? Um, call to check on her once in a while. Um, if, if you are financially stable, if you've got money, yeah, and you can build your mother a house, build her house if you can set up a business for her set up a business for her okay so do something that can make her life comfortable so if it means that you take up her hospital bills or every month you send an amount of money to her or you send up some items to her you buy things for her that is what you can comfortably do do it okay so that she will be she would know that you have you've done something for her it's not as if some some girl somewhere is coming to take all the attention or take or rip from where they didn't sue even though that concept is wrong 
yeah, if that's what they are thinking is wrong, but we know that that's what most mothers who are in this kind of situation might be thinking. So make sure that you do the needful. If you can afford it, make her life comfortable. But let her stay where she is. If she's still married, let her stay in a marriage. Okay? It is not your fault that she chose to marry the man she married. Remember, when they were seeing each other behind that building and they were giving themselves kisses and they were giving themselves promises and they were getting it on and all of that, you were not there. You were not part of that decision making. It was ultimately their decision. She accepted to marry the man. Unfortunately, it didn't turn out the way it should be, which is sad, but it is not your fault. So don't let your mother put that burden, that guilt on you. Whatever your father did to her, you are not the one who did it to her. So you should not carry that guilt. It's not your fault. And you, you have to be able to come to that terms to accept that what has happened has happened, but it's nothing of your fault. Yeah. She's giving birth to you. She has to take off you. That's how it is. We all give birth to our children. You know, my daughter, when she's hungry right now, she will just come and say, I want milk. I want milk, please. I want bread, please. And I'll say, okay, there's no bread. I want bread, please. She doesn't care whether you've got the bread, whether you've got the milk, whether you've got the food. She doesn't, she doesn't, she doesn't care. You know, you've taken, you've given birth to her. You have to take care of her. That's what it is. So we all have to do it. Yeah. But we should not be held responsible for what is not our fault. We should not feel guilty for what we did not contribute to. Okay. So you have to clear that and settle that in your mind, knowing that you cannot play the role of your father. It is not your role. Yours is to take off your mother as much as you can. If you are not working, if you don't have the money, at least check on your mother. Call her. Yeah. Call her. Um, check on her. Visit her once in a while. Yeah, if you live closer. Because I know some people live abroad. Maybe you live in a different city. And all of that. You can't always be going there. You can't always be calling. So you go there. And you, you, you do what you can. Sincerely. God knows your heart. God knows your pocket. Do what you sincerely can do to honor your parents or your mother. If your mother is single, if she's not married, or let's say if you lost your dad, even though your dad did not abuse your mother, maybe he died early. So you found yourself in this kind of situation. If she's not married, encourage her, especially if she's still young. Okay. Nowadays, me, I've heard of people who married at the age of 65 or 64, 70. So encourage her that if she finds somebody that loves her, that wants to marry her, she should go ahead and marry, okay? And, you know, even if she's divorced, she can marry. She should go ahead and marry. So try and encourage her to marry and pray for her, that God will connect her to somebody who sincerely love her and treat her well. I'm just going to read off from my notes. The danger of allowing your mom to control you and your marital home is that you will repeat your dad's errors. The same thing you are angry with your dad about will happen to you. In your attempt to make your mother happy, you are making your wife unhappy. You are ignoring your responsibilities towards your wife and giving your mom that attention and care which your wife is meant to have from you. So eventually your wife will become as bitter as your mom. Yeah? And so you are really not doing yourself any good. You are producing an angry and bitter wife who will not only be angry with you, but is also going to be angry with your mother. So this is like two troubles, one God. And guess what? She will also transfer it onto her children because in your attempt to make your mother happy, you are not giving her any attention. She's not going to be having any time to be talking to you, communicating with you. So she will also be communicating with your children, just like your mom did with you. So she's transferring the same thing that is happened to your mother is the same thing that is going to happen to your wife. And so it's like a cycle. And that cycle will continue because your children are also going to pick up that thing and take into their own marriages, which is a negative cycle. That needs to be broken and you are the one to break this cycle because you are the one that is privileged to hear this message 
now. So make sure that you break it. Do everything you can to break the cycle. You can do it. Anyone who controls you knows that you are weak. They know that you are not wise. Okay, because if you are wise, you protect what is yours. Your mother is not yours. Your wife is yours. You've got a covenant with your wife. Yeah? The two has become one flesh. So, yeah, if you allow them to manipulate you easily, they will not even respect you. They don't even respect you. And can I say that they don't have your best at heart because they know that they are damaging you. There is no wife, there's no woman who wants their mother-in-law to control their home. There's no woman like that on this earth, no matter how good they are. There's no person who has ever married, who has ever tasted marriage that would, that would be happy for their mother-in-law to control their husband, let alone controlling the affairs of the home. So for your mother to be doing that, she knows what she's doing is wrong. And if she has your best at heart, she will not be doing it. So I know that bitterness can put people in a situation whereby they now become self-centered or selfish. So even though she knows what she's doing is wrong, it's now all about her. She's thinking about her, her happiness, how to protect what she thinks she has so much worked for. So because of that, she's got this entitlement mentality, which is making her not really care about how you feel. It's all about her. So really, I don't think she really, really want your happiness if she wants your happiness she will draw the line and and let you guys have your peace okay so finally stop getting your mom involved in your affairs that is how you can stop being a mommy's boy you are a mature person you are old enough that is why you want to get married or that's why you are married and if you're already a father it's even another form of responsibility and maturity that you should have so because you are married or seeking to get married, you cannot still be under the control of your mother or the control of your father or of anybody else. Make sure that you and your wife are doing things together. Get your wife involved in things. If you have to buy something for the home, if you have to travel, that's a decision you and your wife has to make and not your mother. So get your mother out of your affairs what happens in your home what doesn't happen in your home she doesn't have any right to make decisions in your marriage no the only time your mother can have any form of uh, involvement in your marriage is when you, maybe you trust in her knowledge her experience and you want her to advise you or mentor you in a certain aspect that is a decision both of you as a, as a couple have to make it shouldn't be an unsolicited advice yeah, she shouldn't just get up and come to your house and think she can con control or command you or ask you to do what you don't want to do. No. Make sure you and your wife are always happy. You are always on the same page. Even if you have to get your mom involved in it, make sure your wife is happy with that decision. Once your mom realizes that you guys are together, you guys are united, she'll back, she'll back down. No matter how hard she is. Plus, be praying. Pray. It's important that you pray. I've also done a video on how to handle in-laws. If you go on my YouTube channel, Peace Amewawo, under the playlist session, there is a playlist called My Journey from Courtship to Life After Honeymoon. It's episode 13 of How to Handle In-laws. Watch that video to help you to know how to handle your in-laws. It's never too late to make a U-turn. It's never too late to break free. It's never too late to get it right. So if you pay attention to all the things that I've taught in this video and you sit down and agree with your wife on how you want to handle your mother, everything will work out perfectly for you and you'll have a peaceful home. So this is how I will love and leave you. Make sure you leave a comment. Let me know your experience and subscribe to this channel. If this video has blessed you, please click on the thumbs up to like it. Also share so that others will be impacted as well. I will see you in episode 10. I will be talking about what prolongs singleness or what delays marriage. God bless you and see you soon. Bye for now.